to Bua Tamasese Leolofi III. He was born on May 4th, 1901, and deceased December 29th, 1927. He was a paramount chief of Samoa, holder of the Tupua Tamasese dynastic title and became the leader of the country's pro-independence mild movement, which was a non-violent movement for Samoan independence from colonial rule during the first half of the 20th century. Mao means resolution or resolved in the sense of opinion unwavering to be decided or testimony, also denoting from strength. From early 1928 until his assassination by New Zealand police in 1929, inspired by his Christian belief traditional customs and culture of Samoa. Le Lofi III became one of the first leaders of the 20th century to employ nonviolent resistance against colonial rule, which laid the foundation for Samoa's successful campaign for independence, which it attained in 1962. He was fatally shot by New Zealand police during a peaceful mild procession in Apia of 28 December 1929 in what became known as Black Saturday. In 1924, Tomasese was banished to Savati by Administrator George Bafford Richardson for failing to remove a hibiscus head from his land. When he returned to inquire about the length of his banishment, he was imprisoned deprived of his title and banished again. The treatment was reported as being one of the main drivers of the Mao movement. <clears throat> when Allah Frederick Nelson formed the Mao, Thomas S. joined and in 1927 appeared before a commission of inquiry in Apia and argued for Samoan self-government. Following Nelson's exile from Samoa, Thomas S. rose to leadership of the Mao. In, in early March 1928, Thomas S. was arrested along with 400 Mao police in an effort by the colonial administrator to break a Mao boycott. He acted as their spokesperson when they were put in trial by the colonial administration and during a subsequent imprisonment at Milinu. Following the prisoner's release, and an unsuccessful attempt was made to arrest him. In September 1928, he refused to pay taxes to the colonial administration, which resulted in another failed attempt to arrest him in early November. He was finally arrested in late November, sentenced six weeks imprisonment for refusing to pay taxes and six months imprisonment for resisting arrest, deported to New Zealand to serve his sentence. While in prison, he was visited by a former internal affairs minister, Maui Pomare, an application for habeas corpus on the basis that he should be imprisoned in Samoa rather than New Zealand and failed. He was released in June 1929 after serving his full sentence and returned to Samoa, where he was greeted as a hero. The death of Tupua Tamasese Lealofi III on the 28th December 1929, the Mao paraded through Apia to welcome Alfred Smith home from exile. The colonial administration prepared for the process possession by arming the police with revolvers and rifles and mounting a Lewis gun on the police station balcony. A brawl broke out when the police attempted to arrest the man in the possession and they began firing into the crowd with revolvers. Thomas Sesse rushed to the front of the crowd and called peace peace when he was shot from behind by a police officer on the balcony. Those who attempted to assist him were also shot. Thomas Sesse was taken to hospital where he died the next day. His final words were, my blood has been split for Samoa.
I am proud to give it. Do not dream of avenging it as it was split in peace. If I die, peace must be maintained at any price. An inquest by a New Zealand coroner found a rifle fire which killed Thomas Sesset to have been unnecessary. Despite this, no one was prosecuted for his killing. <laughs> Thomas Sesset's legacy, his tomb constructed of black stones in a tier is situation, situated in Le Pea village besides the main road in five minute, minutes from Apia. His young brother, Meola, succeeded him as a holder of Tupua Tamasese title and became the tup Tupua Tamasese Meoli. He was instrumental in the final stages of securing Samoa's independence, chairing the National Con Constitution Committee before assuming office in 1962 as co-head of state and the newly independent state of Western Samoa. Tupua Tamasese Lofi III, eldest son, was Tupua Tamasese Lofi IV. From 1922 to 1983, who served two terms as Samoa's prime minister and later as deputy of head of state.